Blair Witch tells the story of Ellis, a cop reeling from making a massive undue to mistake due to PTSD he suffers from his time as a soldier. Ellis and his German shepherd named Bullet join a search party in the infamous Black Hills Forest where a young boy named Peter has gone missing. For suspense's sake, the game begins with you realising the search party has gone on ahead so you set off on your own with nothing but a flashlight, radio and your old school mobile phone. That's because Blair Witch isn't about combat, it's about avoiding it and Bullet is your best line of defence. There's no heads up display but Bullet acts like one running ahead to alert you if he's found something, growling when danger is near and barking his head off when the witch is around. And yes you encounter the witch, that shifty long limbed lady will pop up at random intervals lurking behind trees and darting out from behind the brush. The only way to stave her off is to shine your flashlight her way and Bullet's job is to point to wherever she is creeping. It's a great innovation except it can be a bit buggy. At one point Bullet stopped reacting to the witch but the music persistently told us she was near. As the music swelled and the screen blurred, Bullet rolled around in some leaves and promptly laid down. Leaving us to twist about frantically, our flashlight only illuminating small parts of the forest. Sometimes he would run, every so often it was hard to figure out which way he was looking. This could be a purposeful mechanic, but with a few bugs creeping into gameplay, we can't be sure. The game and not all who wander are lost. Though the score is great with eerie strings that wax and wane throughout, and the found footage mechanic brings the iconic Blair Witch camcorder into play, with a supernatural twist. If Ellis finds red tapes in the forest, you can rewind and fast forward them to manipulate reality based on where the footage was shot. This means you can open locked doors, repair felled trees and uncover items that are invisible to the naked eye. This is fun, if occasionally tough to execute mechanic, one we wish was deployed more. And then there's Bullet, an eternal good boy, using him to find clues and lead you places is a clever feature that's often necessary to move the plot forward. It's a new way to do clue discovery and it plays well. His command wheel is a cool feature that can call you to him, keep him in place or let you pet him. Bullet is great, everything about him is wonderful and he must be protected at all costs. But is it scary though? Well Blair Witch finds definitely flexes some psychological horror muscles. Pairing you up with the dog imbues you to move which make the kind of imperative mistake only for the pup. You won't care if Ellis fell down a cliff but the idea of bullet scraping a toe will petrify you. You will be spamming the heel command whenever you lose sight of him. The game emphasises the need to stay close to Bullet for the sake of Ellis's mental state. The dog acts as a kind of emotional support animal for Ellis, whose mental health is frequently referenced in-game. He's an anchor that he reaches for periodically in a brilliant emotional play. Speaking of mental health, the game clearly weaves the disorientating and surreal aspects of the forest into a narrative about Ellis's PTSD. There are moments when the war zones of the past seep into the forest. Bullets pout water in front of you, mortars strike nearby, dog tags are laid buried in the dirt. It makes you wonder how much of the creepiness anxiety can be attributed to the demonic power of Blair Witch, and how much is clear because of Ellis's personal demons. It's a brilliant narrative tool, one that constantly keeps you on edge. The Blair which we encountered was represented by branchy limbed forest slenderman spirits lurking behind trees that were only mildly scary after the first encounter. The few jump scares that the game throws at you are super effective. It can be scary but it's most often anxiety inducing which for many is the worst form of fear. Overall our time in the woods was equally parts freak and frustrating. When the game works it really works, blending clear narrative elements, a brilliant score and psychological suspense. But the occasional suspect moment and disruptive bugs hinder the experience. Despite that, the Blair Witch is scary and deserves a very respectable 6 out of 10.